In InDesign, you may need to align objects to each other, maybe to create a row of aligned images, or you may want to keep objects together by creating a group of all the content in your page header, for example. In order to complete this flyer, you'll learn how to align content with Smart Guides, group content and work with groups, and align content with the align options. To follow along, you can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. To make sure that you can see the entire page, choose View, Fit Page and Window. Then to zoom in over here, select the Zoom tool in the Tools panel and drag from left to right to zoom in here. As you move content, Smart Guides can help align content and appear as temporary Snap2 guides. Smart Guides are turned on by default and with nothing selected, they can be found in the Properties panel on the right here. With them on, to see how they work, select the Selection tool in the Tools panel. Then press and drag this text frame to the right. As you drag, you should see a series of green horizontal lines telling you it's in line with its original position. When it's aligned with the left edge of the object above, release the mouse button. With the text aligned to this line, it'd be helpful to keep this content together so they can be moved as one object, which is where grouping comes in. Starting off the left edge of the document, press and drag across to select this content. You'll also select the image behind. Now to deselect the image and not the other objects, press the shift key and click the image to remove it from the selection. Shift clicking lets you add or remove content from a selection. To keep the objects together, you'll group them. So click the group button at the bottom of the properties panel on the right. They're now grouped and treated like a single object. Click away from the content, then click on any part to select the group. You can tell it's a group because both objects are now selected and there's a dashed bounding box around it. Now if you need to be able to select one of the objects and not the entire group, to do that you can either ungroup the objects by clicking the ungroup button here, but then you'll have to group them again, or you can do it another way. Double click the red line to select it. Double clicking content in a group allows you to select just that object. In the properties panel to the right of the document, Click the stroke color and choose black. You can press escape to hide this panel. Now you'll align some of the content using align options. Starting off the left edge of the document, drag across to select all of this content. By dragging, you also selected the image behind again. To deselect the image and not the other objects, press the shift key and click the image to remove it from the selection. Now in the properties panel on the right, click Align Left Edges. Notice that the rightmost object aligned to the leftmost object. So that you can see everything out here, choose View, Fit Page and Window. Now the image in the background needs to be aligned to the center of the page. So click to select the image. In the Properties panel, click the Align To menu and choose Align to Page so that the image aligns to the page and not to other objects. Then click the Align Horizontal Centers button to align the image to the horizontal center of the page. Now that you have a basic understanding of aligning and grouping content, you can more easily organize and position your own content. Experiment with grouping objects and aligning to see how they can help you work faster and smarter.